Hi everybody, I'm Patrick Novotny and I am the tie guy. This is my YouTube channel and I'm doing how-to videos on every single necktie knot known to man and I'm bringing that to you. So if that's the kind of thing you're looking for, then please subscribe. This time, I've got one that's been invented by a fellow named Benjamin H. Morgan and he invented this knot called the Vortex Knot. I think it's super cool, it's actually really easy to tie and I want to show you how to do that right now. So just a couple notes before uh, to be mindful about before attempting this knot because it is a little bit difficult as as it may seem very easy um, if you use a really silky smooth kind of fabric if it's a satin or really soft silk it's it's going to tend to let go it's not going to hold on to itself very well so you want to have some sort of like texture to the necktie to hold on to it and also it's a bit deceiving that it doesn't seem to use up a lot of material but it, it does so anybody with a, like a longer body thicker neck you might want to use an extra long tie you might have a little extra material uh, but at least you'll be able to get the done the knot done really really well all right here we go let's get started this is the big end it's the short end it's tied with the little end the big end is going to be just a, a little bit below uh, my belly button just a couple inches above my belt line so it's going to finish up at my belt line. Taking your big end, you're going to make your dimple. You pinch it like so. So I'm kind of pinching it in, in the middle and folding the outsides back a little bit. So you see that. Taking the big end, crossing over the front, feed it up through the back of your necktie, and across. So you should be with the little end so we're making this triangle here so you would end up going back from which you started with the necktie alright so all of this I like to keep sort of relatively tight because I don't want this to be a big knot don't pull on it too hard where you're gonna wreck your tie alright so we're gonna bring it down it's gonna come in and around behind your tie like so now at this point we're sort of gonna build the middle of our vortex knot so I found that bringing my tie as low as possible, not low as possible, but below the knot and being mindful of your dimple to keep it. So below your knot, you're going to pass over the front once and you're going to wrap it all the way around again for the second time. So now around the back, around the front, from here, taking the, the little end feed it through the back of your neck hole. All of this stays tight. See some of it moved up. That's fine. Keeping all of that tight so far. Well, snug, nice and firm and snug. I came up through my neck hole on this side. I want to cross over. And now I'm going to feed the back end or the little end around the back once more. This is where the outer loop of our vortex knot, let's say it's our orbit of our vortex here. Like uh, if you've done the Van Wick, you end up putting two fingers uh, to sort of do your loops around. Ben Benjamin likes to put his thumb and forefinger. So whatever is easier for you. I like the a thumb and forefinger as I adjust to make sure my, my orbit stays in place. But as I'm doing my wrapping, I like just leaving two fingers up front. So now that we have this, we're going to go once and twice around our fingers. So there's once. Go around that second time. And now I switched to thumb and forefinger to keep everything in place. And I want to keep my thumb and forefinger here until I've adjusted and cinched up. Taking your little end, you're going to feed it up through your neck hole, but we're finishing. Pull it all the way through. See, now if you tighten it, you're not going to lose your orbit because your thumb and forefinger are there. So you want to tighten it just a little bit, but making sure you've got enough room to move your fingers around in there. And you can either wrap it. Now if I tighten it, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to be uh, making my orbit smaller. And now I'm just going to tuck the rest of my my tie around my neck and before I bring my collar down I want to cinch this up 
there we go. I've got my orbit, my vortex. So I just I lost the back end of my collar here, so I'm going to tuck that back all the way in. I've got an extra long tie uh, from the dark knot if you guys are looking for extra long ties. There we go. Pull your collar down. I like it with a button down shirt just because it hides this last wrap. If you have a, a loose collar, it's going to show a little bit that it, it's ending that way. And this way, I've, I've found that it's easiest to hide that and look sharp. Done. That is how the Vortex Knot is done. Thank you very much, Benjamin H. Morgan, for inventing that knot. You can check out the original channel if you search for Benjamin uh, H. Morgan Vortex Knot. And if you guys do the Vortex Knot, I'd love to see it either on Instagram, tag me, or Facebook, on my Facebook page, tag me. Um, or if you come up with something new, you could either email me, send me instructions or a video. That's the best way for me to learn. Um, awesome. Thank you so much for watching.